What's going on everyone? Welcome back to Red Matter 2. We are here with episode 3 of the series, and last time we left off, we landed on one of Neptune's moons, uh, Trident, or Trident something, Trident, like the gum. Um, last time, uh, we were following Staz, and he came to one of these moons, in lieu of some recent information that Irena might still be alive. So, we are here to continue to follow his tracks, and the headset is not being very comfortable for me right now. Um, I have to, <laughs> I use the Pulse 3D headphones, and I have to keep them, you know, okay. Where exactly did I land? My thought can look, Far wait. off is the base. Hmm, judging from your coordinates, Looks like you've landed on one of Strelka and one's satellite nodes. The fastest way to the main entrance is via the rail network. There's a station nearby. Find it, and you can hitch a ride that'll take you directly to the base's entrance. Seems simple enough. But anyway, like I was saying, um, I'm using the Pulse 3D headphones, and I have to keep them wired because the microphone on the PSVR 2 kind of sucks. So, keeping them wired means that I'm getting the best quality possible for the mic on the headset itself. Uh, this kind of looks like the final area from the first game. So, let us continue on. There was a little strange puzzle coming up over there somewhere that uh, might require some thinking, but... Luckily for us, we are avid thinkers, and there looks like more darkness for me to traverse through. Man, I was going <laughs> when I was editing the last episode. I was debating on uh, raising the brightness in some of the. Oh, oh! I didn't make it. I didn't make it. Yeah, yeah. Relax. Okay. Um, I was <laughs> going through some of the other footage, and. Uh, when I got to the really dark parts, I was debating on um, making them lighter in the post-processing, but I'm like, no. To get the real effect of what it's like, I need to leave it dark. And it seems we're getting more of that. So I should probably switch to the flashlight. And uh, it's also the shadows, because the shadows move in really realistic ways. And this is just horrifying. Like, this is absolutely unacceptably horrifying. <laughs> uh, you know, there's just some games out there that are horrifying, um, even just watching them. On a, on a screen. Like, I know when I watched Resident Evil 7 for the first time, that was horrifying. I can't even fucking see in front of me, jeez. Oh. Okay, shoot another flare so I know where I'm landing. That was horrifying to watch just on, like, I watched it on iPhone 5S at the time. Uh, I can't imagine what it was like, A, for people to play it on their PCs, and B, for people to play it on the VR once the PS4 version got an actual VR port. But we made it through there. I've located the rail station. I can see the tracks. Got it. Find a way to restore the power so you can get the train moving. Okay, find a way to restore train. There, some satellite panels. Cosmo Base Stroke N1 facility. Yeah, in case you were curious. But we're gonna need some of these satellite panels to reconfigure the uh, power, it would seem. It's dark, so I'm not really sure what the solar panels are gonna do for us, but. Let's see, looks like they attach to here. Okay, oh, we got some, uh, some anglage here. So it looks like we gotta rotate it down. There we go. Good enough. Oh, well, I guess there's some light up there, but we need, here's one. It looks like there's a few that we gotta figure out here. What about this one? Let's see where you wanna go. Okay, left and right, left definitely, and 
down. Number two. Where are the other ones, I wonder? I remember first time playing this. Took a while to find them. At least one of them. Don't remember if it was hidden down here or hidden in plain sight. But... Uh, it shouldn't take too long for us to find. If it's not even down there. Go up the stairs. Okay. Yeah. Because I don't think it was hidden on like... Oh, well. There's one. Yeah, sorry, pal. Ugh. Turn around and go home. I feel like we have been through this already. Indeed we have, but I'm ne gonna need this. Okay. Let's put this one back on. I was going to film a God of War video for the PSP series, for the Time Capsule series. Um, and I have a mic, like a clip-on mic that I had from years ago. And I'm thinking, oh, you know, I'll try and use that one instead of my uh, makeshift iPhone earphone uh, situation where I tape it to my shirt. Because that gets a little annoying sometimes. Um, uh, nothing there. Okay. Uh, especially because I'm just taping it. Like I'm using um, scotch tape. And... It, if the tape starts peeling, it's right next to the microphone and becomes super, super irritable. And But you don't hear it, you know, obviously, when you're not doing, or when you're doing the recording. And then you hear it in the aftermath, and then it's just, you know, you have to deal with it and pray to God that it's not as bad throughout the rest of the video. I'm just making sure I didn't hit that one. Angle you. Oh. Well, I guess I got them all. That, that one up there must have been the one I was missing the last time I played. Okay. We got the subway car. It's a cool looking subway car thing. But yeah, I was going to record that and I found that old microphone and the little. Train's good to go. Great. It's Sasha. From here on out, I've no clue what we might encounter. Be careful. Okay, and the little uh, plastic piece that holds the microphone to the little clip broke at some point, so I had to glue it, and I'm just letting the glue dry. This is cozy. This just makes you want to sit down in real life, but if you do, you're going to fall on your ass. Okay, so let's uh, go forward. Looks like we've got the battery there, but it's not fully charged. Got more he headset haptics. I said in the last episode, this kind of thing reminds me of a theme park. It also reminds me of uh, some Skull arcade Canary rides. Was. What do you know about you this place? You could sit in them and do a stuff. It was the first of the Stralka facilities. Dr. Lysenko devoted his entire life to the N1 project. He built this base himself from the ground up. Dr. Lysenko? Dr. Andrei Lysenko. You've never heard of him? No. I have not. Nothing's coming back to me. Don't worry, your memory probably hasn't fully recovered just yet. Dr. Lysenko was one of the Federation's top scientists. Thorough, methodical, and persistent, almost to a fault. He obsessed over his research to the point where he always got the results he was after. Hmm. So, what was he researching? It's unlikely we'll ever know. Cosmo Bureau reports speak of a devastating fire that caused the entire base to be evacuated. Lysenko and his research, however were lost in the accident. But who knows? We may be able to dig something up, provided there's anything left. How convenient the battery might just run out right here. Or, no, the door's closed. I gotta open it. Hit the brakes. Autopilot hit the brakes. Hit the brake. There we go. All right, well, not going anywhere from here. And not getting out that way. Go through the stairs. This place is kind of cool. Hub. Yeah, okay. The main entrance has been sealed off. Must be part of the evacuation protocol ordered by Lysenko. Everybody's got an evacuation protocol. But if Stas found a way in, we 
You can too. Wouldn't you just, you know, bypass the evacuation protocol if he went in? Alright, game logic tells me since that is not lit up and that one is, we're going this way first. If I remember, this part was kind of like my least favorite part of the game. Not saying it's not fun, but it's just not my favorite. Okay. Let's ascend. Oh, that makes you want to fall backwards. There's the platform. Scanner. Engine room. An engine room? What engine is this? Where does that go? Who put that there? I gotta stop asking questions. Okay. Go into the engine room. Okay, this is cozy. Try not to look too hard at the wall textures. This game looks phenomenal on the recording. It looks a little better even than, I mean, at least some of the textures because the fine details in the headset aren't like as crisp as they are on a screen. What's this? Security. Ugh. Should I have gone the other way? Or is there another way around? Uh, hmm. Perhaps <laughs> I can go this way. I hope Staz also had a little jetpacky thing, because otherwise a lot of this is inaccessible to the walking man. That is very bright. Oh. My arm. Okay. Gotta make sure your arms are somewhere in the periphery of the headset, otherwise they'll start freaking out at you. It's just the limits of the technology. The PSVR 1 had its problems with outside in tracking. This is inside out tracking. Surveillance camera. Oh, What's hello. The room? Oh, that's, that's not a surveillance camera. It's an automated defense turret. Be very careful not to enter its field of vision. Well, what's it doing out here? Clearly surveying. Okay, so that's where I was. I don't think I can. No, can't open that. Because someone shut the goddamn power off. Staz, what the fuck, man? Okay, yeah. So that's where I just was. What do you gotta say? As head of security. Head of Security Committee and Highest Ranking Officer, I've decided to remotely engage the lockdown protocol, Dr. Andre Lysenko. Remotely, okay. Auxiliary entrance status locked manual override available. Why didn't you just uh, turn off the manual override then if you wanted people out? Okay, so I'm gonna wait for it to go that way. And then make my move. Okay, I'm gonna duck in real life here. Make it even more realistic, except for that part, because I'm not crawling. Okay. Gotta make a beeline for the door here. Okay, it's a push. Huh. Alright, wasn't so bad. Oh, please tell me you were not the manual override. Bolt cutters can be used for anything, it would seem, in this game. Okay. There's a subway car. We need a wheel. Which is not here, naturally. But can I disable the security turret, maybe, with this? Select the media file. No. You guys have got to get a better backup system, man. The shit's corrupting everywhere here. Except for the last one. Oh, look, he does have a jetpack. Stars was here. He couldn't get in through the main entrance, so we found another way inside. We need to switch the tracks around to go after him. But the terminal's completely fried. All right. Well, lucky for us, these systems always have some sort of manual override for emergencies. I see the override, but the hand wheel is missing. Okay. Let's look for that first. Oh, was that just open for me? Okay. Okay. There is a curious looking square in in that. Why is that there? 
Okay, you think I could just like try anything on the hand wheel and try and get it to work? I don't know. Maybe I'm thinking too much ahead. Ooh, there's some lag there. Some loading occurred. Crouch. All right, here we go. Thank God there's no like alien situation here where shit's crawling through the vents. Mm. Oh, how lovely. Hello there. Oh, you're alive. Oh, never mind. Oh, look, it's me again. Wait, no, don't. All my parts are exposed. How unbecoming of me. Look, we may have gotten off on the wrong foot, but truth be told, we do find ourselves in a most curious predicament, don't we now? At present, it seems we would both benefit from each other's assistance. Unexpected, I know. I'll tell you what, intruder. If you help reassemble my chassis and boot me up again, I promise, I promise to aid you in obtaining that irrelevant little hand wheel you are looking for. Blackmail. Also, why do you need to be reconstructed here? You can just beam yourself to my hand whenever you want. <sighs> okay, instructions. Find fuse and put fuse in. Well, there's a broken one, so that's not gonna work. Uh, nothing behind there. It's never that easy. Okay, well, I would assume we have to go in this precarious looking room with the giant security camera here. Oh. Okay, well, there's only one of these, so I might have to drag this across as I move. Okay. Easy. Okay, other hand. Stay square. There's a door behind me. Okay. Let's move, move. Make sure I'm not tall enough for the thing to see me. Okay, I think. Push door. And close door. There we go. Another. Oh, puzzle. Oh, I remember these puzzles. These things can be a pain in the ass sometimes. There we go. That's that door, and there's a fuse. And a password of some kind. I don't remember the passcode like I do the other games. Here's one of the fuses. The second one is somewhere in the storage room, but I can't... I don't recall where exactly. Apologies. You suck, whoever was in this room. Okay. Gotta get to the storage room. Okay, let's... Try not to get shot here unexpectedly. Oh, this thing can reach into the security room. I gotta get that button. <laughs> okay, we're protected from the thing. Now we look around in the storage room. Oh, there's food? Space bacon. Come back. Yeah, sure. That looks appetizing. What is this? Space. Dehydrated <laughs> food tube. Flavor <laughs> Oroshka soup. Oh, that's lovely. That's what I wanted. Tubed soup. Oh, more notes. Welcome, Ivan. Serving little gravy here at Stroke N1 is a privilege few ever get to experience. Great many things are becoming accomplished here. I do hope you ever enjoy a game of chess, though it's how we kill time while on guard duty. The chess again. Sta or, uh, Sasha was the chess guy. Thank you, I'm very anxious to get started. I've heard great things about Dr. Lysenko. His dedication to science is awe-inspiring, Ivan. Who's Ivan again? The maintenance guy? What the hell? Is there a fuse in you? I don't think so. I can roast the soup tube on you. Oh, I saw a control panel back there. Uh, nothing over here. Fan. And another thing you can move, but here. Looks 
get out of here. Propane tank. So they expired. No dates. Haha. <laughs> oh. Finally got that. Jeez, that's annoying. Okay. Well, we opened something. Oh, I'm not entirely sure what that is. Might have been the door that was over there. Okay, back to cover. Because we need a code for that safe. Okay. Huh. Okay, this headset is falling down my face. Tighten it up a little bit more. There we go. I doubt the code is one, two, three, four, so we continue on. We have one fuse. Let's go to another engine room, it would seem. That music stopped. Okay, an elevator. I'm not really sure why we need to go down at the moment. Hmm. I don't want to go down just yet, because we didn't find the code, and I think that's our way out. He said it was somewhere in the storage room. So if it wasn't in the control panel, then it must have been somewhere else. Fridge doesn't... oh, maybe. Is it in here? Nope. Yes. Uh, oh, shoot. Uh-oh. That's not good. <laughs> there we go. Alright. Let's boot up the computer guy, shall we? Ah, you're back. Great. He repaired me. Excellent. I suppose I should be grateful. How could you possibly be so naive and true? You expect me to help you betray the motherland? You think I would just tell you the exact code of the safest 7947? Thank you. I will take that. I could have unplugged the fuse on him again, but I'll let him. I'll let him live. For now. Okay. Let's meander over here. Close the door. Okay. What's the Volgravian look like? Okay, seven, seven, nine, could have went the other way, four, seven, excellent, what's in here? The wheel! Beta, I have the hand wheel. Who the hell put right. it in here? Now you can align those tracks. Okay. The wheel, oh yeah, no. Now I have to go the other way because we went through the vent system in the other place. Alright, while well we take the elevator back up, uh, I would just like to take this opportunity to thank everybody for the support on my last few videos and even the stream, the Battlefront stream that my buddy and I did. Uh, we were not expecting 52 viewers after the fact to watch the stream nobody ever really watches them after and we kind of just make them for our own for uh, our own sake just to be able to watch them over again you know months or years after the fact and just reminisce about whatever we were talking about at the time but people really seem to enjoy them and even you know live people were seeming to uh, have some fun with it so you know we'll try and get some of those Ooh. Where the hell was the goddamn wheel? Not here. Okay. We'll try and get some more of those out when we can. Um, because we do want to get that streak done. That 100 game streak, preferably before the summer ends. <sighs> okay. Because once uh, school starts up for me and work gets hectic for him, then we really uh, won't have a lot of time to do consecutive streams and they'll just be months apart and then that won't be fun, but 
while we have the time now, we're going to try and get as many out as possible to get to close to 100 and even surpass our previous 70... 73. Right now, we're taking a detour. I'm headed back to the train. Perfect. That'll take you down the branch line to the mines, which are connected to the base via an auxiliary access. Back door, huh? Let's see if Stars made it in that way. No, his body's just splayed along the track somewhere. Okay, more running. This one's gonna be a little more difficult because I gotta run all the way over to that th box over there. <laughs> okay. Okay, go, 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 run. Can he reach that angle? Probably. Oh, yes, he can. Oh my god. Alright, let's get the hell out of here and back into the subway car. Okay, we got through... Yeah, you know what, that part wasn't as bad as I remember it being. I think, you know, just getting used to the controls for the first time with this game and then different uh, navigation systems, like being able to crouch and go underneath things and dodging the turret for the first time kind of made that part drag, but uh, that wasn't so bad, so... Let's move forward again in this cozy little subway car. Yeah, it's got the headset vibration again. But yeah, it's like being in one of those arcade uh, things that you can like sit in and actually it moves around with you. I remember there was one in the Niagara Arcade. It was some beach command game or so. Oh. Do not enter, do not enter, we're ignoring the do not enter, someone already did. This can only mean good things, I'm sure. Oh, no, 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 no! Oh, don't die on me now! Oh my god, bro, What's relax. Wrong? The train's losing power. The battery's been completely drained. Shit. The mining complex can't be too far off. Can, can you make out anything? No. I see a stop. My journey ends my here. Jetpack will get me there. Okay, we should be halfway to the auxiliary entrance. With any luck, we can find a spare battery for the train. Oh my goodness gracious. Yeah, bro, the thing was obvious from the start. Like, you could see the battery as it drained. Don't act all surprised. Okay, where the hell are we going here? Oh my god, dude. Okay. I gotta get up to that one. Boom. What if there was no backup battery to the train? Like, what are you gonna do? Like, we're just going into this hoping that there's a battery for it. I'm sure I could fly there. It'll just take a while. I made it to the mining complex, and you'll never guess what. Locked. It looks that way. Restricted access. Someone stuck a note on the structure barricading the entrance. This is a barricade? Okay. Access to the mines is strictly prohibited to any personnel not involved in the new a operations. I hereby assume full control of the area effective immediately. Access to the excavation site is therefore limited exclusively to personnel of my own choosing, Dr. Lysenko. It was Lysenko who ordered the closure of the mines. Oh, what the? Looks as though he moved down here to oversee the entire operation himself. Barrier bypassed. Why would the doctor be conducting operations in the mines? It must have been related to the evacuation. No, it Let's was get not. Inside. You are very in the dark, Beta. Yeah, so that's where we are, I assume. And we gotta meander through the tunnel here, and then... Some goody goodies over there. Okay, let's see. Oh my god, let's take this. This could be useful. Coat hangers. Anything? Oh, there's a note in here. It's mesmerizing. Where do you think it came from? Or perhaps it's been here all along. Hmm. I wonder what they could be talking about there. I've never seen anything like this before. We should notify Dr. Lysenko immediately. He'll know what to do. So obviously, some minor guys. You know, nice security system. Obviously, these minor people. Oh. That's so much more useful. I didn't know you could do that. Okay, stay up. Oh. 
son of a... Gotta keep the door propped open with something. You'll do. Oh, maybe not. Come here. You're my door proper. It seems the miners found something in the mines, and I guess the red matter is just everywhere? Oh, I can't prop it open. I gotta run. <sighs> Hello? Oh. I'm stupid, aren't I? I'm dumb. I bet you go right back in there, and my god, that was so easy. This area is pretty neat. Pretty cool lighting. Oh, there's more turrets. Lovely. Huh. Seems the mines go on for quite a while, although I'm not sure if they barricaded this or if it was already here and was rendered useless. I don't know where that power's coming from. Okay, we got some enemy turrets here. Great. We gotta more get defense under. turrets. Something just doesn't add up. Who has time to set up turrets during a fire evacuation? What fire? There's no fire damage anywhere. Okay, I'm going to... Oh! You didn't see anything, relax. It was the wind. Okay. Definitely not going through the main way, but... I wonder if I can get down there. It's worth a shot. Just gotta wait for the goddamn thing to pass me. Oh. <laughs> I took that right to the face, but we're okay. We're, we're durable. Okay. The real life crouching has set in. My god. Alright. Oh, I can crouch. Okay, I can stand. Ah. Ah. Well, at least I know we can take a few of those hits before bad things happen. Hello. You can't see me, right? Right? Stay there. Don't move. Okay. Okay. Oh. You suck. Ah. Lovely. Can I take you? No. Real life parkour when the video games actually make you do stuff. Okay. Uh, how are we getting around here? Alright, survey the area, that gives us some time. We can get up there and get behind the turret though. And that should make getting over here a little easier. Ooh. If I stuck my arm out, it would shoot my arm. Probably. Okay, 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 okay. We got time. Can I just disable the turret from here? No. Hope you didn't feel that. Can I... No, I can't crouch while I'm... Okay, it can shoot me in the feet too, so... Gotta make this quick. Gotta make this quick. Gotta make this quick. You don't see anything. My god, how many goddamn turrets are there here? At least we got some shielding this time. Uh, this one's fast. Okay, okay. Got an area over there we can get to. Hide behind here. And then what? There's our next location. Stay out of the way of that. Okay, okay. Run, crawl faster. Is this one of those? Can I flip it up? Okay, there's one right there shining through. Oh, I didn't mean it. Gotta be quicker than that. Gotta wait for it to go the other way. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Okay, now what? Can I run that? 
Oh, I'm gonna try. Okay. I'm hoping that was the last of them. Because I seriously don't want to do that again. What the hell is this? You find something? Oh, oh I yeah. found something, all right. A huge machine. Not quite sure how to even describe it. A battery. There's definitely something strange going on down here. There's a power converter attached to the machine. It has the battery we need, but it's locked in place. All right. There's got to be a way to release it. There's a switch. Oh, it's not powered up. Because the, the thing that holds all the batteries, the screen's right beside the switch. But the switch is the only thing that's not powered up. Naturally. Okay. We have got some investigationing to do here. Some little cubicle looking guys. And, uh... Hmm... Is there a way into these things? Yeah, it looks sealed off for now. Well, there's no power to them, so... Ooh, there's some terminal, I think, stuff up there. This is cool. This... This game does a good job of creating a realistic sense of scale. Very nice. Gives my real life the no depth perception, some depth perception, because I can see it in here just because that's how the game works. That's a sealed door, so we're not getting in through the front. Which means there's probably a way in through the top, maybe. There's a window. I found another server terminal. Great. Try to reach it and send me the data stored on that unit. Anything you we learn could help data, us find stones. Aha. A winder. Let us climb through. Yoink. Up. Oh, for... Fine. Uh, rock. Scannables. Okay, okay. A fragment of rough stone with a reddish tinge. It appears to radiate a small amount of energy. Hmm. So this is interesting. Because like I said, it doesn't look like the mine contains the red matter, like the ice mine at the other base. But that didn't look like regular mining equipment stuff. This matter is fascinating. In all my years, I've never seen anything quite like it. We must ensure nothing interrupts the extraction process. Andre Lysenko. Doctor, I'm afraid we can't extract any more samples. We'd have to cross the threshold completely in order to obtain more. But we're unsure of what we may encounter. This is a job for the rover. Excuse me. Do you realize how much money that thing costs? We only have one. Send the expedition team. That's what they're there for. We'll send the rover through once we know for sure what's on the other side. Hmm. Well, this guy did not care. There's another rock. Not care much for his crew. Oh. Hmm. Interesting. That looks a lot like the thing that we saw. A blackboard with a red sphere drawn on it. In the other room. Jeez, this door's been destroyed on both sides, inside and out. Alright, well, we got some stairs to climb, so let's do this. Beta, I'm at the server terminal. Okay, be sure to send over the data as soon as you can. Oh, it looks like they sent the rover in, eventually. Um, time moves very quickly here. 10, 12. Won't wait. It's counting backwards. What the hell? Well, they sent the rover, but looks like they lost connection. Yep. This photo was taken shortly after the miners discovered the anomaly during the excavations. We set up the cameras to document it all. It's incredible. Uh, there's numbers over there that correlate with the notes. We've begun installation of the containment device. I have ordered all our... In R&D efforts to this base to focus on our discovery. I will oversee all operations personally and make this my utmost priority. So this guy's kind of like Nikolai. He really wanted this red matter stuff. 
The matter displays unusual behavior. We must study it further. It appears to contain very high levels of concentrated energy. The containment device should suffice to destabilize it, but we must act quickly. We cannot risk losing this opportunity. Hmm. There's the last one. We are using the rover to penetrate the threshold. We're currently able to extract samples from the other side without the need to cross over fully. I'm eager to see in what ways we can put the substance to use. Hmm. Well, I mean, they did say they needed to cross the threshold fully in order to get all the information, or all the samples. Which means the team probably didn't come back. Congratulations on the find, Dr. Andre Lysenko. We've approved the construction of the containment device and look forward to further details concerning your discovery. Oh. The first, first of four otherworldly photos. There must be more information regarding these images somewhere. Okay. Yeah, so it looks like... Looks like they, this, this was before they put the containment field in, because this is here. This is here. There's the rover. And then... The team has disappeared by then. Okay, well... We got... Oh, did I miss this one? The blasted rover is malfunctioning again. Its scanners are reporting the presence of an... Of a... Unionist astronaut, of all things. Could you please fix that piece of junk? Huh. So the rover picked up... Something, someone, or something else. Oh, for God's sake. Go. Connection established. Do the very uh, intricate security measures here that absolutely nobody could figure out. Where are you facing? This way? Oh. Uh, where the hell are you going, my friend? I love this. Such a cool thing to look at. Let's do a data transfer because, you know, that's all we are now, a USB stick. Beta? Uh-oh. The power went offline, even though the lights are still working. And the red... the sound is back. The red matter sound. The door's open. Oh, the world is gone again. The rover is here. Which means it probably crossed the threshold and this is where this is. What the? Yeah, what the indeed. Can we save the rover? Can I fly over there? Oh my good lord. Rover, I've come to rescue you. Where's the rest of the team, though, if you're here? Hello, my friend. Remote-controlled Volgarevian Expedition Rover, the only unit ever to be manufactured, designed by Volgarevian's engineering elites. Huh. What? Uh-oh. The building's gone, and there appears to be a... Pl planet? You see in this rover? Hello. Oh. It's the construction of the red matter. Center that. Okay. Um, this is a good sample to collect here. Oh, there's the astronaut guy. What's happening? What are you? I kinda know who you are, but that's for later. Where's my hand? Oh, 
<laughs> oh, that's sick. Okay. We have a gun. Oh, I love this thing. Let me shoot that one. I don't know what that is. Okay. This place is sick. Well. Oh, it's bright again. Sasha, you listening to me? Beta. I think I just crossed over to the other side. Take the me other, to side? The other side. We were going over how to operate the weapon, and you just Spark spaced out all of a sudden. I told you I was trying to analyze the data, but it's encrypted with an algorithm I'd never seen before. That's unfortunate. <sighs> it's going to take me a while to crack. I just but saw death I itself. Got a bad about this whole thing. You better get to know how to use that gun, just in case. Um. Yeah, sorry. I must have just been another hallucination, I guess. <laughs> Thank you for the gun. Sasha, maybe you should rest a while. I'm fine. Don't worry. Can't stop now. Stars might be in trouble. <sighs> I don't think she gave me that gun. That was very clearly um, something else, because why would she not have told me about this gun until now? Pretty cool, though. Okay, well, I don't know if I have to do anything more with this. Data sent, no, okay. We're going back out then, it would seem. And the door's locked. But there's a hole in the side here. Aha. Take it. Uh, shoot the thing. Look at that. Fascinating. So, my, my understanding of that is that might be the, like, the overarching mind of the hive mind, maybe? At least for now. Who and what that is. Will have to I remain to a mystery. Some of the data about the machine. It appears that in the event of an overheat, the batteries will become exposed for cooling. That might work. I'll see what I can do. Hmm. An overheat. All right. Well, that sounds like a challenge for the next episode because I have five minutes left as it's just popped up uh, for the recording. Maybe for future episodes, I might just do a couple separate videos. Like I'll stop this one at 50 minutes and then start another recording and then just mash them together in iMovie but we are here at this containment field and uh, this looks very much like where we just were with the red matter and the gun I just don't think she was telling us the truth oh, I missed I don't think she was telling us the truth, because why would uh, you not mention this? And also... I don't know. That did a thing. Okay. In any case, we'll leave this for the next episode. I didn't think those actually would have done something yet. But they appear to have done something and have created a very basey atmosphere. So, until next time, I hope everyone enjoyed this uh, episode of Red Matter and enjoyed this experience. I got to the cool part that I wanted to show off, hopefully, in this episode. So, uh, we'll continue later on and see if we encounter the hive mind again or if we start having more hallucinations and if everybody is being truthful with us but until then everyone take it easy <laughs>